Hello everyone, my name is Minister Wallace and again, thank you for tuning in to the channel. It is a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. I just wanted to come to you with a fifth iteration of our uh, this series called A Counter Narrative. And it is just simply a counter to the 24 hour news feed that many folks have chosen to sustain or try to sustain uh, their lives with, which is unsustainable. Many folks are fine finding that out as we speak. But with that said, we are in Matthew, the seventh chapter, and we are, like the news is, we are, we are citing and quoting and listening to an expert. I want you to listen to what this expert says uh, in Matthew chapter seven, uh, starting at verse 25. He says, this is why, this is why I tell you, don't worry about your life and what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body or what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Can any of you add a single cubit to his height by worrying? And why do you worry about clothes? Learn how the wildflowers of the field grow. They don't labor or spin thread. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was adorned like one of these. If that's how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown in the furnace till tomorrow, won't he do much more for you of you, you of little faith? So don't worry saying, what will I eat or what will I drink? or what will we wear? For the idolaters eagerly seek these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be provided for you. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. With that, I want you to, I would advise you to place your hope uh, place your foundation or keep your found, found, found foundation in the Word of God, in Christ. Uh, I hope you stay encouraged. I hope you continue to do, do the things that you enjoy doing and don't be hindered by anything. All that uh, to say, God bless you and have a good day.